What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back. Today might be Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Guys, how you doing? Hanging out down here on a Friday in a museum with another hot topic of discussion, if you will. Variants. How important, if at all, are variants? Are they necessary? Yeah, I've been reading a lot of the comments on, on, on some of my videos um, in regards to these figures, these uh, Migo figures. And with the variants, I'm seeing Mixed reviews, uh, mixed feelings, if you will, about the variants. You know, I've I've heard everything from, well, uh, they're more of a chase figure. It's it's fun to have. Uh, it's fun to go out there to look for them. Uh, on the other hand, I've heard, well, I have the initial one. Why do I need? You know, basically the same figure with different accessories, colored accessories. Yeah, I've heard it all. You know, the positive, the negatives, and, and the in-betweens, if you will. But we just want to kind of cover a little bit of all of that today here at the MIB Master Toy Museum. And in this video, as you can see, we have... The Dr. McCoy figures, variant figure, the blue accessory, Dr. McCoy, and the black accessory, Dr. McCoy, and the same with our Scotty figures. Black accessories, blue accessories. Where are you at as far as having to have both variants, both colors? As a museum historian of toys, um, I thought it was cool to have both. I like the chase. Okay, I'm going to play a little devil's advocate here. I like the thrill of the hunt. I like knowing that there is a different, albeit a very small difference, a uh, variant figure out there that I don't have that Migos put out. So that's that's the fun part for me. Hanging out on the toy uh, Facebook pages and seeing people post pictures uh, of these these variants. And there, you know, I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I just want to throw this in. Which one is, which one is the variant? Are there more uh, black accessories? Then blue accessories or vice versa. Um, that's that's something else uh, that will make you scratch your head about. But we do know that there, there are two different sets out here. Accessory sets. Migo did this um, not purposely, I think, back in the 1970s. Because, uh, you know, you had different places where these toys are being produced. And I've heard a lot of stories from, well, if they ran out of material for one, uh, for a certain figure, they, they use what they had. And a variant was created in, in that sense of thinking. Are these variants necessary? Are they important? To the collector, to the collecting community, I think the just the everyday collector that's looking for a Scotty, the, the new Scotty figure, probably could care less about the fact that there are two Scotties out here, one with black accessories 
and one with blue accessories. I don't think that bothers or matters too much to your just everyday collector. But when you get to an, that next level of collecting, you have what what's known in the collecting community as a completist who has to have both colors. Doesn't matter. To know that there is a blue phaser communicator and tricorder, uh, Dr. McCoy variant out there, and you have the black accessory set one, that would drive a completist crazy. And I, I like to look at everything from a fun uh, toy collecting viewpoint. For me, I like these figures for the just the purest reasons of all. They're fun to collect. I mean, if, if I couldn't have found the blue tricorder, phaser, communicator, uh, Scotty figure, I life would have went on. I, I would have been okay. It was okay. It, it was fantastic and it was fun, exciting to find this guy with the blue tricorder, phaser, and communicator set. It was just fun. Because see, now I can say I have both. Guys, your opinions, your thoughts, as we really delve deep into the world of variants, how important are they? How, are, how important are they to you? Do you have the blue phaser communicator tricorder, Dr. McCoy? And if so... Are you satisfied with just having that one as opposed to the black accessory, Dr. McCoy? Does it matter to you? You know, uh, one subscriber said about the, a variant, and we were talking about variants a while back in a few other videos. His comment was uh, along the lines of, you're essentially paying the same price just for a different color set, accessory set. Why would you want two Dr. McCoy figures? And this is what this is what he said. You know, I'm I'm happy with one. Doesn't really matter that there is another one out there. There's a variant out there or there is a a McCoy figure out there that has a different color phaser communicator tricorder set. Just doesn't matter to me. And I respect that. I absolutely positively respect that. Now you have on the other side of that, you have some tra traditional uh, thinking collectors, more on a vintage style thinking. They prefer the blue phaser communicator tricorder set. Like the ones they had in the 1970s. As opposed to the more modern detailed look version. So this was a blessing in disguise right here that Mego came out with. The blue version of these accessories. It really depends on what side of the fence you fall on. Variants have been looked upon as um, fun, exciting, and also very stressful to people that are trying to track down these sets. Historically, that's how they've been looked upon.
let's say you have, like I said, I'm playing devil's advocate here. Let's say you have the Dr. McCoy figure. Okay. And you see, you, let's say you have both of these. Okay, I'm really playing devil's advocate now. Let's say you have both of these, right? And then they come out with a different color. Let's say red phaser, a red tricorder, a, a red uh, communicator accessory set for Dr. McCoy. Now he's out there too. Do you get him? Do you want him? Is there a need to have three McCoys with three different phaser communicator and tricorder sets? Is there a need? Leave your comments, guys, right out the, underneath this video. We, we want to get the discussion started about that. And let's look at the, the obvious elephant in the room. The Ghost McCoy, an obvious uh, quality control error by Mego that's taken on a whole new life of its own. So when Mego and they, they've, they're on record as saying that they have corrected that issue. So now you're going to have a, a more proper skin tone. McCoy, as opposed to this this extremely uh, ghost-like figure here, do you want him when he comes out? And you have these two McCoys, one with the blue uh, accessory set and one with a black accessory set. Do you get that one with the correct skin tone? Is that in some form or fashion another variant we want to hear all that guys we just want to cover the variant issue are they necessary how much fun are you having searching for these guys it's hard enough to find these guys in targets let them know let alone trying to find a different colored Accessory set, Scotty, or a different colored accessory set, McCoy. Food for thought, guys, or, or toy food for thought, if you will. Guys, we're just getting started down here at, in the museum on a very early Friday morning. But we just kind of want to kick that off. Uh, with these variants. We have other variants in our our museum, but we wanted to use uh, Scotty and McCoy. They're the two newest uh, variant sets, if you will. We just kind of wanted to use these guys as examples today. Your thoughts, guys, your opinions on this hot topic of discussion. Do you want to see more variants? Do you want Migo to really go out of their way to create more variants? You got the Planet of the Apes franchise, the Star Trek franchise, all of these different toy franchises that Migo's really putting together with all the cool licensing that, that, that they have. Do you want to see different variants throughout those toy lines? We want to know. Guys, more fun on the way. We're going to wrap things up. You know the routine. God bless. Stay safe. and keep collecting.